Hey you guys, how is everyone? Tonight, I was coming back for the second video of the day since I haven't posted in a day or two, but this has been a much anticipated video from what I've been hearing about tips and tricks for how to help someone who is blind or visually impaired. Um, this is going to be a classic Emily Rambly video but I hope it's educational, but I also want to say that these are the most important tips and tricks that I can think of um, that are important to me, but might not be um, necessarily important to everyone. These are just some tips and tricks that I wish that people knew when meeting me or interacting with me for the first time or just um, in general. Um, tip number one that we're going to start with is like if we're in like out and about somewhere and if you come across me and you know me from somewhere or something like that but you don't know my name or something like that, come up to me and tap me on the shoulder. Um, or something like that as you're saying, hey, this is so-and-so from wherever. Um, just so that way I know who you are. And this is especially, um, I think just people forget. They'll just look at me and be like, hey, how are you? And sometimes, like, I can figure it out if it's in a quieter setting. But a lot of the time, like, if you, especially, like, a noisier, like, I don't know, get-togethers and things like that, but then when there's a lot of people around, I might not realize that you're talking to me just because I can't see that you're attempting to make eye contact. So if you don't remember my name or if you're not sure what my name is, um, just tap, tap, me on, tap me on the arm um, or something like that just so I know that it's you. And kind of on the same vein, tip number two, if you, if you're someone who I don't know, like we've only met a handful of times or it might have been a few years since I've seen you or whatever, just come up to me and be like, hey, it's, it's, um, I don't know, I'm just making something up, like, hey, it's Brooke from school, or something like that, or hey, yeah, like, hey, it's Brooke that you graduated with, or something like that, just so there's some sort of context to your, who you are, or um, where I might know you from, if it's been a while, or we've only talked a handful of times, that is really um, really kind of helpful. Um, and then tip number three is if you see or if you're interacting with someone that you're, who's blind, who, that you, who you're meeting for the, um, first time and something that, um, is helpful to me some I don't know if this is helpful to other blind people is if we're meeting for the first time and like you want to like shake my hand or something just say like hey my hands out because sometimes my hands are full or I'm distracted and I'm not thinking about it just say like hey my left hand is out or hey my hand I want to shake your hand your hands my hands a little bit to the left of yours because sometimes if I, when I do reach my hand out, sometimes I'm, I misjudge or something like that. So just don't be afraid to like give me that verbal pointer. So that way the gesture is not awkward where just either one of us are just standing there with our hand out without any clue what's going on. Um, and tip number four is um is also like if you're trying to like hand me something and i'm missing it like just give give like verbal 
cues. Like, say, like, hey, I'm handing you my drink and your hand is to the right of mine. Or move your hand over to the right a little bit or over to the left. Just so that way I'm not, like, reaching out, like, scanning the air, trying to find your hand, like, or whatever you're trying to hand me because that gets awkward. Or just say, hey, I'm standing in front of you or, hey, I'm standing to the left or to the right. Just so that way I kind of know the general area of where something is. Or it's helpful, like, I've also had people just, like, tap my hand with, like, whatever they're holding whenever I'm trying to reach out. If there's a little awkward pause just because I'm not sure where your hand is, that's also helpful. And... My next tip is for um, what I'm going to call hashtag ask don't grab. Um, It's like when you're trying to help someone, unless they're in a dangerous situation, um, don't just don't grab them. Give them verbal direction. Like, if you're afraid that we're going to run into a table or something, unless there's something extremely dangerous on that table, please don't grab, because that that can just be, da- that, that can be doing more harm than good, is if you just grab us and move us without any explanation. That just disorients the blind person and can put us in harm if we are disoriented and don't know where we are in a situation. And the same thing goes with, like, crossing a street, like, or just walking out anywhere. Like, unless, like, we're about to get hit by a car, or, like, don't just grab us just because you think we're about to run into a table. Just say, hey, there's a table in front of you. Like, don't just grab, because how would you feel if someone just grabbed you without any warning if they weren't in, like, a dangerous situation? So, I just think about that before you just walk up to someone who's blind and grab them and move them just because you think that they don't know where they're going and that you know better. That is not helpful. It is usually more dangerous than helpful. Um, A better way to handle that is just to walk up to them and say, hey, There's a table in front of you. You might want to move to your left a little or to your right a little. Or I just want to let you know. Or um, just tell them what's going on. Never just grab because you wouldn't want to be grabbed if that was you. And that's just one of the big things that I want people who are sighted to understand. Just Think about what you would want. Would you want someone to grab you? Or would you want someone to do something to you if you were blind? That's just what um, I wish more people would just think before they act. And just ask. Just ask. Never be afraid to ask. Um... Because if you come up to me and say, hey, my name is whatever, and I saw that you looked a little confused or stressed or lost, um, do you need help or how may I help? Um, That is the most helpful thing to do is just asking how can you help? And then I will say, oh, May I show you how to do sighted guide or hi, can you give me prop or good verbal ins- or give me verbal instructions on how to get from I don't know if we're in a mall or something like Bath and Body Works to Charm and Charlie's or something to that kind of example. And if we say no thank you, just keep walking. Or, you know, just don't get offended. I've had people honestly get offended when I don't need help. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, they just expect um, that we can't do whatever it is when we most likely can't. 
And that's just kind of like the last kind of thing I want to like really um, like iterate is treat people who are blind how you would want to be treated if you couldn't see the way everyone else can. Just think before you do something. And the really the last thing is when someone who they've let you know who is blind, that they are blind, don't just say over there and point. Like, um, if we ask for verbal instructions, please, like, you know, we're not expecting you to know, you know, perfectly. But don't just point at something and say over there when we've, like, taken the time to explain, um how you can help us by giving us verbal directions because that's really just like frustrating especially like when you're in like a store or something and you're just trying to grab something and go and they just go oh walk over there I'm like when I just took 10 minutes to explain to them the best way that they can help me and then they just point and say over there it's just it's really frustrating so you know just Keep these tips in mind and just think before you act. Um, I hope y'all having an awesome weekend and I thank you for listening and please like, share, and subscribe. I'm amazed at just how far we have grown in these past couple of weeks on my YouTube channel and on my Facebook page, but um please just like, share, and subscribe um, so we can keep growing and keep, um, keep, yeah, keep growing. So have a great night. Love you guys. Bye. 12 minutes, 12 minutes, 16, stop recording video button.